Guys, we will we'll be building the pursuit. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Wait, wrong car. Sneak peek of what we're building. Or what I built and I'm going to be doing today. Oh, there's the peek. It is my dad's 1970 Mustang, his favorite body style. He has a 4-H Joker just like I do in my car, except for he has a boss hood scoop. And he has, um, doesn't have the louvers, doesn't have the wing. But he does have these blue marks because whenever you open the trunk, for some reason, it, it scrapes off the wing and goes to the blue. He has these stripes over it. On this side, though, he has a bunch of little stickers about Craftsman Racing Series. And he doesn't actually have these wheels. He has weld version, and his is actually a 70. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be... Oh, another thing I forgot is that little off thing on the back. That is actually true to his car because it has a kill switch, and that's what it's for. But I'll be back whenever I'm ready to do the race. So guys, I finally loaded. I'm just going to bounce it off the rev limiter. Even though my dad's car makes about 550 horse and about doubles mine, but they're both A classes. And this one's carbureted and not much done to it, but my car. Now this thing is, I like this car pretty good because his is all stripped out. And the reason why I left the stock gearbox in it is because this is a three speed. Let's see what it runs. Okay, I don't care, I lost. As long as my car beats my dad's. His is a 4H stroker out of a truck. His is a E5 block, mine's a F5 block, so I thought that was pretty cool. My time 32.132. Okay, I just want to do this um, because I love to do a picture of my car parked in front, not in front, but the two noses of the car parked together, and I'm not sure you heard guys, I got that new motor a while back. I not sure if I said it. It's 4H stroker out, but like I said, a F it's an F5 block. But I will be or I will be picking the car. Guys, plus also with my version of my car, I did not put all the stickers on it because I have Ricky Brothers on the um back window. And I have Mustang on the top of the front, and then I have a bunch of um, qu qualifying um, stickers and my car number, but I put my car number on the back pillar. And I only have three windows that are tinted. and I have the passenger side window, and then I have the back quarter windows. And like I did, they're both 4 a strokers. I just gave you a hint there. But I don't have a Mustang thing in the grill, but I tried to do my best. Here it is. And that is so sick. Like I said, I can't get, or like I said with the other one, I can't get the rims. But there's my card number. I have my card number right there. And then I have the Beaver Springs um, qualifying thing. And then over here, I have a Beaver Springs. And then it, see, this is a quarter window, the window right in front of me. And then I have the top street qualifier. Then on the back window it says Ricky Bros, like the other one. And then it says Mustang there. And yes, my hood's different color. But what I did here is I have a dent on my car. And then wound with the spray paint it because it was a different... For some reason when they hit it, or when they hit it, it messed it up. So when I went to paint it... My car actually had two paint jobs in its life. It had the original paint job, and then it had another one that's a shade darker. So, it's supposed to be one lighter, and it jumped too dramatic. Like, plus another thing is, I only have, have one Mustang logo, and it's actually on this side. And another thing is, I don't have this side tail marker. But all that's done to this is little weird stuff, and... The 
Ben Smith. My car came from Florida, and that was the name of the dealership who had it. So that's what I want to show you guys, and I'll be back whenever I get to the rivals and see who wins. Oh, by the way, guys, while I was making these designs, my dad called, and he's very excited to see this. He might be one of the first people to see this. But it's the passion that we have with our Mustangs. My dad has his original Mustang. He st still has his first fastback. And he, he has a bunch of Mustangs. I think he's six, including his T-Bird, which... 1985 T-Bird, which that's basically Fox by suspender underneath that. Then he has 6.9 Mercury Cougar, which that's basically Mercury's version of a Cougar. But it's just, this is my favorite body style of the Mustang. I feel like I'm going to have a faster time, even though I make 13 less horsepower. And, and actually, this is pretty close. This weighs 3,300 pounds and 22 pounds. Ah, oh, that fifth gear! I wish I could tune my gears, though. Ooh, I think I lost. Just by a little bit, but actually, if you think about that, my dad... He makes about, I guess, about 200 more horsepower in reality. So, and, um, another thing is, the fastest I went in my car let out a thousand foot, I'm not going to say the times, so, I, I'm not trying to be, since my car is fast, I'm not going, I'm not trying to do that, trying to be all top secret, it's just, I have some, if anybody in my class wants to race me, and they realize how fast my car is compared to like the fastest kid in my whole school I mean is a six cylinder ch charger and I know my car is faster than his so I don't want to say the name if he's watching but I ran a th my dad's car ran a 32 13 with a 2 I ran a 33 with a 2 so he won but that'd be more reality which I think that's cool but I still Still, kind of would like it if I would have won because, yeah, it's a thing. But I'm going to do something that I'm mostly, I kind of need to do because the neighbor, I wasn't at the house the other day and the neighbor kind of was doing burnouts over top of my burnout marks. So, him and his Pro Charge Challenger, so, yeah. You know who you are. I'm going to soon go out there and do burnouts over top of your marks. But I'm going to do something just for that Pro Charge Challenger. And you will see it soon. Ah, dang it. That's... I normally, I never hit traffic. But by the way, when I was saying about hitting the dent, I never hit anything. The only thing I ever hit, ever in my life, with something, was probably, actually nothing I can think of off my head. Yeah, but that's going to be the end of today's video. I just wanted to do a quick video on mine and my dad's car. But who will win? I guess it was my dad's car. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Have a good one and goodbye.